Okay, you asked for it. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. This is how you play the solo to Time Bomb, one of Iration's biggest songs. So I want you to think and get in the headspace of a particular pentatonic scale first, okay? So a C, an E minor, and a D. And by the way, that video lesson is getting uh, sent right up above you. Um, the rhythm of that is basically C, E minor, and D, therefore we're in the key of G major, aka E minor. Here's what we got to think about when we're there. We're thinking of this particular pattern here, E minor, position four, if you will. <laughs> Think of it as G major pentatonic. Either one, it's the same exact thing. But it's basically this. If I'm going from, if I'm forgetting my root notes, that scale pattern is on the seventh and tenth fret of the low E, seventh and tenth of the A. It's going to be on the seventh and ninth of the D, seventh and ninth of the G, eighth and tenth of the B. 9th and 10th, I'm sorry, 7th and 10th of the high E, right, and reverse that. And you can come back to the E as its root if you want to think of it as an E minor pentatonic. So, he's going to be existing right here. He starts right at the top of that particular pattern, the 10th fret high E string, and then moves it right on over to the 10th fret of the B string. So. And you want to make a little sharp stop there, just not or right? You want to go. And then you can kind of hear a little play within this, like hammer-ons and stuff. I was kind of mixing that in there a little bit. That's always your option. I can hear some of that mixed up. And when you do it live, it's slightly different every time I've noticed. Here's overall like a good basic version. So 10th fret high E, 10th fret B, and then play it again. Back to the 8th fret. So, 10, 8, 10. And I'm going to go ahead and do a bend, a whole step. And you can actually just play that any other way. If you wanted to reach for that, you could. I like to bend to it. Right? So it's up and back. And I'm gonna come over to the high E for a full step and then back to the 10th fret. Right, so I'm going kind of a descending line. I'm adding that little note, that C, that's the eighth fret of the high E, that is actually from the full minor scale. If you wanna get nerdy, I do still teach, so feel free to hit me up. But basically, um, we're gonna sneak that, we're gonna cheat that little note. It goes beyond the scope of pentaton and it goes full step and then back to the 10th fret high E. And I like to do a little slide there from the eight to the seven. And then I go back to my 10th fret of the B. And I'll do a little pull up. Right, so kind of in that almost descending line. You can kind of do a little double, like that pull off to that bend up and back. And then I finish it with a continuing down that line of the, right here on the ninth to the seventh fret of the G. So all together we have Pull off there, pull off, pull off, then up and back to a pull off, back to the nine and seven. I may have skipped some. There's a lot going on in this, so I apologize if I've kind of rushed through this. But just slow it down, use your ear. Hopefully, this has been at least a really good guide for you um, to help you along with this particular solo. Now he's going to do that essentially three times, and you can kind of play within that field. That's actually why I wanted to go over that pentatonic shape first because. That's what allows you to get a little bit swimmy. Uh, with most solos, even melodic solos like this, 
even they, they I mean they don't mess with a lot but you can kind of play around the bounds of it if you know your your scales and your theory that's why I love the nerdy stuff anyways I digress you'll do that three times and then on that fourth time it changes on the end because of the particular chord change it's a B minor to a C on the end and so they're gonna kind of trace that on the very end from the seventh fret B to the eighth fret B okay so it's gonna go on that last one I'm sorry one so it kind of cuts off a little bit early now if you don't want to make those big bends on the B string I mentioned you can just reach up to it and slide up if you want the high E string is gonna feel like it's cutting you alive I know if you're not very experienced with bending it is is what it is man it's part of the game and it's why there's not you know a ton of great guitar players because it's painful so maybe that's you you could be the next great guitar player just push through this pain 10th fret of the high E and by the way, you saw me sliding to that. You can always go or pull off. I was mixing it up on you either way. It doesn't matter. I do like a legato move. Instead of... Although you could play it individually. But that bend is... You have to go for it. And it's a little bit more difficult because you just got done with the B string, which is an easier bend. So mentally just know that it's going to be harder here than it will be here. And start practicing those bends. I actually have another video on that precise concept of perfecting your bends and how to use the snark tuner to do so. All right, you guys, that's basically it. That's how you play Time Bomb uh, by Iration, the solo. I love that you guys watched all the way to the end. Please like, subscribe, and grab some merch down below. And if you want to buy this exact guitar, I'm going to have it linked below as well. I love this thing. It's bulletproof. It's a Stratocaster Elite, and it was actually given to me by an amazing student of mine. Uh, who is just the most generous human being I've ever met. Okay, guys, that's all for me. Have a great, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.